to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out How's it going lads, Marshall here and welcome to another Inform Analysis, but before we review Ezekiel today I just want to say a massive thank you for 5,000 subscribers, the support from you guys has been insane so hopefully we can go on from here and maybe hit 10k in the future, who knows, but guys if you want some coins check out UT Coins now, use that code MARSHALL5 for 5% off because this guy's going to set you back 160k on the Xbox One, 150 on the Playstation 4, he's got a 3 star skill set and a 2 star weak foot which is a terrible and the stats aren't on the screen there but I scored 7 in 7 games with Ezekiel, that isn't the best, that isn't the best at all, he's got great finishing though, 85 finishing and that is the only good stat in there. 70 ball control, that is terrible considering this guy is so fast, now when you've got a fast player and you've got bad ball control, the ball will just hop away the second you touch that right trigger, so if you're wanting to slow down then you press the right trigger to accelerate a little bit, the ball will just fly off and that is what happens with Ezekiel, I mean look at this acceleration, the agility is great, the balance, jumping, reaction, sprint speed are all good, the strength isn't the best in the world but it is okay for a silver card, yes he gets into these positions, his movement is okay and that is quite surprising considering his attacking position and is in the 70s I think it was or the 60s it wasn't good whatsoever and he does get in behind the defence with his pace time and time again but like I said this guy's cons the ball control really does affect him dribbling is awful and that weak foot of his is just non-existent <laughs> you'll see him miss at the end with his weak foot 6 yards out and he just blasts it wide well I blasted it wide anyways it could have been my fault but I just felt like it was Ezekiel's fault now this guy when he first came out he was costing quite a bit and that is understandable because the hype around someone that is faster in this game that is silver you're gonna pay a ton and this guy was very expensive but the price has come down over time and even though it's natural for all in forms especially in the first week to drop in price once all the hypes died down I think with Ezekiel people's had bad experiences maybe not enjoyed them put them up for cheaper and people have been undercutting them hence why the price is being driven down but me personally I wouldn't pay 160k I would not pay 150k I'd roughly pay between 60 and 80 and I don't even rate him at that, yes he's got pace but ultimately that's all he's got, if you love pace go for this guy, go buy him, go try him, he scores goals, his finishing's good, I can't knock that, speed, agility, he can bridge past players and he can do the KSI with no problem whatsoever as he wins the header there, straight from kickoff to put me 2-1 in front in that game, so the overall rating for Ezekiel will be a 3 out of 5, if you love pace go buy him, if you're a technical player just avoid him because he's ball control dribbling and everything else really, I mean look at the curve behind that shot, that is ridiculous, I'd just avoid him lads, I really really would, so guys if you're going to build a team, if you're going to build a Nigerian squad, I'd stick Sholam, well that's too far, I would not stick Sholam, you'll be up front, and that is it guys, I hope you did enjoy this review, catch you all next time.